the truly wronged. Sometimes all you have left is revenge. 104.1 KRBE. Yeah, you go to KRBE.com if somebody messed with you and you got them back, but they don't know you got them back. We figure it all out together here on the Rule and Ryan Show. So let's say hi to Lucy and see what happened. Good morning, Lucy. Hi, hey, how are you? Lucy, good, Lucy. We're fine. Why are you with us on Revenge, though? Well, it's about my ex, Keith. And we just went through, like, a really awkward, weird breakup. And right now we live in townhouses that are right next door to one another. So it oh, makes that's it even the more... worst. Wait a second. You're next door neighbors yeah. with your ex? Yeah, it's really awkward and weird. And it's just been super weird and uncomfortable since we broke up and I don't know when we started dating my friends they warned me about him he's like a super big player and then you know he ended up being one and cheated on me and what was the timeline y'all were together again before it blew up about a year and how long ago was this breakup Uh, about a month so it's still pretty new okay that's really new yeah now I know I know what Lucy's done I'm gonna call you uh lunatic Lucy Oh, no. Why do you insult her like that? Oh, no. Isn't it one of these weird things where the Uh, person getting revenge has, like, unjustified levels? No, I mean, she's got a good reason, but it's pretty funny what she's been doing. I don't know. We broke up, and he was super horrible about it, very casual, like... Oh, it's not a big deal, even though, I don't know, I think a year is a pretty long time. It's a big deal to me. A year, that's a long time. Yeah, a year of your life, and you live right next door to each other. Is he, like, you know, snarky to you in the parking lot, or? Oh, he won't even acknowledge me anymore. And then the worst part is that when we were dating, I mean, we yeah, we live right next to each other, but obviously when we were together, I was pretty much living in his place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I helped him set up his new phone and some of the security stuff at his place. Well, hey, you know what? Why don't why don't we talk to Keith now? Okay. We don't Better. need to know anything else? I don't think you really need to know anything uh, else. Okay. Okay, so well, you guys are together. To think, I'm trying to think I right now, and I think I know you. where it might be gone. Now you're next-door neighbor, so... I, I think we're better just talk to Keith right now. No. Okay, so Keith is okay. sitting by. Uh, Lucy, he, does, he has not heard our initial conversation, so I'm going to welcome him into the conference call. Okay. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show on 104.1 KRBE. Good morning, Keith. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Keith, it's going okay. But uh, have Thanks you ever listened to the uh, Have you ever listened to the show? To be honest, not really. No, I haven't had a chance to listen to you guys. Uh, well, we do a segment, Keith, every single week, where somebody who does listen to us on the regular will contact us to help them out when it comes to reconnecting with someone in their life. Yeah, there's no there's no concert tickets. That's the only way I could get them on. Oh, <laughs> you told them there's yeah. concert oh, tickets. Oh, so, oh, sorry, Keith. Uh, our Ain't producer lied to you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's cool, guys. Keith, my name is Rula, and there's Ryan, and there's Eric, and, and Ryan and I don't really know why you're on the phone, other than the fact that there's a woman named Lucy also on the line, listening in, uh, who, who now we know that you guys dated. Hi. Hey. Hey, how's it going, Lucy? You sound extra excited there about having Lucy on the phone with us there. Guys, she's just crazy. She's a crazy bitch. What? <laughs> That's not very nice. This is the woman that you spent a year with. Well, she does have my segment called Revenge, so maybe. Well, during the relationship, she took the whole thing, like, too seriously, okay? Like, it was kind of just a casual thing. It wasn't really a big deal. We were kind of just hanging out. Like, What? Are you I kidding me? We were boyfriend and girlfriend. We were talking for a year. Oh, we my God. You are year. such a piece of s***. <laughs> you are such a piece of s***. <laughs> At least I'm not a f***ing yeah, man um, whore. Yeah. How's that revolving door? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Lucy has told us that you guys were in a legitimate relationship for a year. Oh, my God. I'm sure she told you that. I'm sure she oh my really made herself look like she was an absolute victim. I'm sorry. Did you or did you not ask me to move in with you two weeks before we broke up and I found out you were sticking your <gasps> all around town? Oh, my God. Did you or oh did you not? God. Oh, my God. All silence. I said. Silence. All I, silence. All I said. No. There's literally no silence. I started talking Shut immediately. The f- up. Um, oh my god, you're so <laughs> full of sh- I, It'd be great if it'd be great if you did. I mean, it'd be great if you were like quiet for a second, so I could get a word oh in. God, that'd be dope. <laughs> that'd be amazing. Okay, dope, dope. Um, Please defend yourself. Please do it. All I said was that if you want to leave some of your stuff here, so that way, like you know, when you come over. Like, you don't have to go all the way back to your place to, like, you know, get stuff you can. Now, so hold far on. Away. So far away. Listen, <laughs> Keith, I'm going to call you out, dude. Neighbors. Any girl that's dating a guy for that long, in her mind, the guy says, why don't you leave some of your stuff here, and she's just the next-door neighbor. That is commitment, whether you want to call it that or not. But he just got done saying that, hey, we weren't that serious. I was just trying to be nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been having some fun. Um... 
you know how I set up all your security stuff on your phone and your home? I was just curious. How is your alarm system? Have you had some issues lately? What the f***? Seriously? Yes, That's, seriously. So yes, seriously. Cool. I, I sit in my window and watch your revolving door as you have all these bimbos come in and out of your place. Not even two days after we break up. Not even. What did you do, Lucy? We don't know the revenges yet. Oh, I've just been setting off his alarm when I please when he has people over. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. Wait, did the cops come? Yeah, that's a problem if the cops are coming. I don't know. I, I get to the key that before the cops get there. Wow. Or is, so called? is this happening like while he's bringing women up for dates? Yes. Yes. That's a lot oh. of work, Lucy. You have to really constantly watch his place. I told you. I said she's lunatic Lucy. This is like really like a project. Just curious how your uh, how's the temperature in your place? Has that been fluctuating as well? <laughs> oh, my. I know. You can oh. control that? You can't be serious. Oh, yeah. He has one of those that I control from my phone. Jesus. It was like 89 degrees when I came home last night. And then later at night, it was 52 degrees. Okay? First of all, it's not even safe to do that, you crazy <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess oh, I know how to literally oh, push evil. your buttons. <laughs> oh, push your buttons. Oh, push your buttons. <laughs> literally. Okay, so we didn't know that that's what Lucy had been doing to you, Keith, but uh, I would say that. Uh, well, maybe change your passwords. Revenge is best served cold or hot, yeah. depending on what the temperature is going to be. Um, and for you to not think that you guys were serious for a year. A lot of people, you have them uh, hot on that one. Hey, Lucy, I'm going to ask you, why Why now did you want to come clean to him? It's only been a month. Why did you yeah, he could have done this for six months and yeah, been nuts. could have really screwed with him. I don't know. I just wanted to hear it. I thought it'd be funny to hear his reaction. This is an invasion of my privacy, Lucy, okay? I, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to call the cops on you. That's do you just want me to set your alarm off so they come over right now? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna let you go. Um, now you know, Keith, that Lucy has access to your stuff. So you might want to go through and change some passwords. You should go in first, Lucy. Change the password. Make it to what you want. What are you torturing him for? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, a, he's the jerk and cheese on her. Okay, yes, but okay, we're gonna go, um, Keith. Thanks for taking our call. Now you know. And and that should be a lesson learned. Don't date people that you live right next door to. Well, and yeah. also, actually, and call it what it is. Don't just say, we just saw each other casually for a year. This was your legit girlfriend. Dude. After you asked her to move stuff yes. in. Own up to the title if you want her stuff in your house. Thank you. Good luck, Lucy. Thanks. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. I was... <laughs> Go to krb.com and uh, get with Eric. If you have been wronged and you made it right... And you want everyone to know about it. By the way, it kind of goes with the, with uh, what happened in Revenge. Airbnb is banning the hosts from having cameras inside of their uh, property unless they tell you. So they can't have... They should uh, have They can't have a living room Yeah, like they camera. have cameras and stuff. That's creepy. That's why, that's why a lot of people don't want to use Airbnbs. Yeah. Ooh. I'm always thinking someone's watched you. Yeah, what I've only think? used one Airbnb once where the person kept checking in with us and letting us know they could see us. It was very odd. Before, indoor cameras were allowed. This Airbnb was not an there. indoor camera, but it was the cameras in the backyard, the cameras in the front door when you're walking in, the cameras on the driveway. Apparently, the lady had two properties. It was in Austin mm -hmm. on the lake, and it wasn't on the lake. You could just kind of barely glimpse the lake from her property. And, um, you know, it was, it was, we were there for a big family event, so there was a lot of us, and she apparently was four doors down and had been drinking and then she came over to the property that we are staying on mm -hmm. to ask us if there's anything we need because, you know, she saw that we were all getting here and unloading and just wanted to know if there's anything. My brother walks in and goes, um, I think the lady that owns this house just walked up to me drunk asking me if we need anything. I go, are you serious? He's like, yeah. She's like, she had like a glass in her hand and oh. she was real chatty. She said, this is her house. And I was Plus like, she's probably looking oh. over your stuff. Okay, you just like, what are we unloading? Okay, we're talking about how the Airbnb now banned uh, cameras <laughs> from being cameras, inside. I know we don't have any cameras inside of our place, but we got some for a white elephant, and I think we're going to do it on the outside. Yeah, yeah the, the outside, outside I think, is totally fine. The inside, mm -hmm. that's creepy. Yeah, and others, you, oh, yeah. But if you got people, say if you rent the property to people, can you have control of those cameras, Kev? 
On the outside? Yeah. Or do you want you want the people that live there? The at my house, like the other house that we own, they have their own ring set oh, up and everything. Stuff? Yeah, we don't have access to any of that. But what about mm-hmm. cameras just in the driveway? That's a common camera. That shouldn't be one that you complain to shut down if you're at an Airbnb. That's their property that That's they want to know it's on the driveway. You know what? Short term, probably, maybe long term lease, a year lease. You that, trust those? Yeah, that, yeah, that, that would be their have. own camera. Because mm-hmm. that's the way one of my other tenants is just his own camera and I'll I don't have access. I'm to sure that. you can keep that ring right. going if you if that's your property, Airbnb. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unless you want to see how many people are going in your also, house. Also, you could share the status or, or share a login on it so that the you know the renter could see through it too. But if they're only there for a week, I ain't giving them access to that. No, no. absolutely not. No. No. Did you want to do um parent advice, Eric? Uh I was gonna say the for eight twenty. Okay. I more, when I more, do that. When we're, you know, people were waking up with their kids and stuff. That's right, because the kids late. are probably Spring sleeping break. in. So it's, we're we're up early and MJ's here. But uh we have this audio, this TikTok, this girl put this out on Sunday, and 24 hours later had over 1.5 million views. I probably watched it four times. Yeah, this Jeez. girl went to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> MJ's like, I don't even do that. No, I watched it four times because it's really I something. go back and forth because I'm like, you go, girl, because this girl, well, basically has to do with a guy having a bachelor party in Vegas Impossible cheating. And a stranger is calling out. him out on Instagram t- trying to find the bride. If you're getting married on th- to this guy, he cheated on you this weekend in Vegas, and I have the proof. Oh. We yeah. will let you hear the audio of what she posted. I want to hear what you guys think. And yeah. then also, if did you have a relationship with somebody, and they went to their bachelor party, and something bad happened? Mm-hmm. Call us. 713-390-KRBE. We'll talk to you next on The Rule and Ryan Show. Uh, 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 uh. See how she kind of like finishes, but then you're not sure she's done. Yeah. <laughs> that's David Gray Grady Cold. on the Rule and Ryan show. Cold 104.1 out. KRVE. It's like a, that's a little rougher than a cold out there, Kevin. In the technical terms of radio. Uh, it's it's more like, like grab it ish. Like, oh, I'm pull the plug on you. Our studio time is over. I'm going to Applebee's. Okay. So maybe you, this has come across your timeline. Maybe it has not, but there is a girl. Well, there are many people who go to Vegas for many different things. And a lot of times it's for girl trip, guy trips, bachelor, bachelorette parties. There are a lot of eyes everywhere. And in the world of social media, nothing is a secret anymore. There was a girl who in the video that we're going to play the audio of, it looks like she's it's like she's like the airport or something. I like she's, she's done with her trip. And she is calling out what she saw, exactly where she saw it, mm-hmm. and what group of guys it was and how they were uh, accessorized. And she didn't want to give... Not his re- a full name. But she, she gave get away sued, a name that but... made everybody look up the name that it rhymes that's with. That's the problem. All these people have looked up these people. Yeah. That's what I have a problem with because then you got the keyboard warriors out there because they could, they'll find In anything. the comments, Eric, sure. the third comment down was like, I already found out this guy's name and the bride's name. I'm already got their not website. So, so maybe if you had oh drama happen. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. We'll play this, talk about it, and then if you had some drama happen at your bachelor party, bachelor party. Now, Paige, Maybe you're standing by. Something. Paige, you stand by at 713-390-KRBE if anybody else wants to call and add to their stories. But let's play the audio of what we're talking about first. Here it is. If your fiancé just went on his bachelor trip to Las Vegas and was at the MGM Wet Republic pool yesterday, Sunday, March 9th, he cheated on you. And also, I went to test the waters because I wanted to find out his Instagram so that I could DM you. Um, and so I went over and I just said, like, hi, like, where are you from, whatever. And he was super flirty and didn't. And I said, oh, I said, oh, are you the one getting married? And he said, mm, supposedly, something like that. Their entire group was wearing pink hats. And I have his Instagram. I don't want to, like, out him in case I get, like, sued or, or I don't know. But if know. <laughs> you think that this could be you, um, message me or comment and I'll send you his Instagram and you can tell me. Um, yeah, that's all. His name rhymes with Cat Saddams. <laughs> so, I, I hope it wasn't you, but he cheated on you. All now, right. My so, question, though, if she got his Instagram, it'd be pretty easy to find out who he's dating or engaged right, to. Right. Well, he didn't need to. She didn't need to do all this in front of a big public forum. She could have reached out to the chick, the chick directly, yeah. right there, right? The fiance. Because every Instagram chick, you'd have. Photo with her and with her tag, I'm and on sure. Her, and on her TikTok, Unless... she posted that she messed that up. It was on Saturday because she wrote all in caps, Saturday, Saturday, sorry. It was on Saturday at that pool. Oh. Because this not came out Sunday. on Sunday when she was by the airport. Right. She said, not Sunday, Saturday. Got she it. was at that pool. The guy with all the pink hats. Now, you would know if your guys, you know, he, like, that's that's a pretty dis, mm-hmm. that's a pretty easy to spot group. If mm-hmm. a bunch of guys are wearing pink hats, like for their bachelor or whatever props, Oh, I saw those guys. Let's go right. around the room. What do you guys think? 
Oh, Do you man. think what she did was a good thing or a bad thing? I think yes. what she did was messy on a public forum because none of us know the uh, relationship that these other people had. Uh, I, I agree mm-hmm. with that only because, to your point, Eric, if she has his Instagram, mm-hmm. then she mm-hmm. can easily fish inside the Instagram and find the girl and DM her. She did not need to post that at the airport and mm-hmm. let the whole world do their they're sleuthing. And I'm sure she has photos. in her business. Don't you think she took photos of them with their pink hats at the, you know, at, at the pool bar? Right. Of course. Of course. What do you think, Sam? I think I, yeah. Normally I'd feel like, oh, yeah, get him. But this is messy. I don't think she should have done it like but, I mean, that. If he's I'm surprised. Cheating, if he's Sam's cheating. usually like, know, get him. I know. Get but him. I he's just... cheating on his fiance. Like, oh, I guess I'm getting married. That's... Especially, Sam, you and I have seen guys who are so cavalier. It's disgusting. Yes. How they're acting. You're like, you're supposed to be getting married. You're disgusting. And maybe she's just so disgusted. She is putting him on blast like that. Like, you are disgusting. Especially with that, oh, you're going to get married? Supposedly. Wouldn't you be so mad if Mark said that to a stranger oh, on yeah, his bachelor sure. party? Supposedly I am. Well, are you or aren't you, Blanker? Because we are planning the wedding of a lifetime right now, and I'm not going to order more pink tulips for you. But yeah. if he's drunk and he's just talking. <laughs> no, drunk, no. The truth comes out in one yes. children area. But he's not touching, I'm in saying. In all you know. the times that you were drunk, no matter how drunk you are, in and you, and your engagement to Nagy, you would have never said to a stranger, supposedly. I'm yeah, pro- hold on. Wait. Wait, what was there evidence of actual That's what I'm saying. Was there, cheating, or was there was? Well, it she just, said he cheated on her because she didn't say what she saw. But she oh has yeah, that's what I want to know. The information. Play the beginning oh, okay. again. Did she say? She said he cheated on you, and yeah. then she said she, she, she wanted to see, see her friend do it. If your fiance just went on his bachelor trip to Las Vegas and was at the MGM Wet Republic pool yesterday, Sunday, March 9th, he cheated on you, and also. I went to test the waters because I wanted to find out his Instagram so that I could DM you. Um, and so I went over and I just said, like, hi, like, where are you from, whatever. And he was super flirty and didn't. And I said, oh, I said, oh, are you the one getting married? And he said, mm, supposedly, something like that. Their entire group was wearing pink hats. Okay. And I have his Instagram. See, so wanna, she was already witnessing yeah. shenanigans, Kev. And then she herself went over to see what he even bite was her. Is cheat a kiss? Is it, it doesn't matter more? what it is. Obviously, it's, it's bad. Still, yeah. but some people have it's different... It's bad if another right. girl is coming out to tell you, warning, warning, warning. She should have just DM'd her. Somebody texted in, he, Sam, that maybe he's private, and that's why she can't get into the Instagram to find the bride. That's what I was thinking as but well. But what if someone else mm. makes it, but what if she could be, what if she's suicidal or something? Or what if he's abusive and she confronts him because of this, and then he, something bad happens? How does she live with herself? This well, this is TikTok the is. risk you take when you put things out in public forum yeah. like that. Paige is on the line at 713-390-KRBE. Hello, Paige. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How Hi. are y'all? Awesome. Good morning. We're Spring feeling break. fine. Woo-hoo. I understand you had some uh, dramatic shenanigans at a party you attended. Uh, Explain, please. So it was my bachelorette party many years ago. Okay. And we went to Austin on 6th Street to party it up. And we stayed in, like, these condo things. It was above a bar. And there were two other parties there. One was a bachelorette and one was a bachelor. And so we all kind of, like, got to know each other. You know, we're young or whatever. Let's all party it up together. It didn't matter. And it turns out the bride from the other bachelorette party ended up hooking up with one of the dudes from the other bachelor party. Oh, man. Lost, oh, man. Her, lost her engagement ring. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And started freaking out. She then started blaming some of the girls that were with me, saying they stole it. Oh, Uh, jeez. One of the girls that she blamed, like, went over there to, like, talk to her and be like, hey, no, we didn't do that. We're not like that. And they ended up kind of, like, trapping her in their room. They're, like, the condo they were staying in. And me and my mom, because I took my mom with me. Oh, I take your mom. It's the best. Wait a second, hold on. You're tra- um, trapped a witch girl in the condo to keep her there. One of her, so she one of her friends. was on the inside, and I was on the outside in the hallway. And, like, they didn't want to let her out because they thought that she had stole it. And basically, uh, okay. like, uh, it's spring break time. Uh, that's a, uh, hold on there, <laughs> Paige. Woo! Uh, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Okay. So we went to Just don't say more bad words. get it together. They were intoxicated, like. Um, and they finally let her out. We ended up not having to call the cops, thank God, because I didn't want that. Nobody wanted that. No. Nope. But I remember we left the next morning. It was, like, Sunday, probably around lunchtime. 
and this bride still hadn't found her wedding ring, and she was, like, banging on the bachelor party's door, begging to let in there because she was searching for it, and she was just having a breakdown, crying. And one of the guys answered, and he's like, we don't have your stuff. It's not my problem. You wanted to hook up with somebody and Uh land the door in her face. No. Because so yeah. obviously the hookup happened in their place, so maybe she wanted to get in there and search the whole place, yeah, and they wouldn't let her in. Off. And it's probably in there. So you don't know whatever yeah, happened to, to that saga, no, right? I looked at her and I gave her a little wave, and I took my suitcase and walked out the door. Whoa! So we were leaving. I wonder what what the story was, what she told her fiance. How do you lose your? How do you lose your? Oh, oh right. We're skiing, or we did something. Yeah, yeah. Or we're, we're on the boat. We're or, going crazy. We were, we're just Lake drunk, Austin and oh, you know, my fingers get a little, you know, smaller when it's cold, and yeah. I guess I was just really cold, and it slipped right off. We don't know where it is. And then she we probably got the a bigger, bar. She probably got a bigger one then. The guys probably like, you know what? I'll get you a bigger one. I don't know about that. All I remember was that the bachelor party was from Texas, but the bachelorette party was from California, so they weren't even from here. Man, they oh just, man, oh man. They just Googled like a good place to have fun time in Texas. And of course, 6th Street came up because he doesn't have fun on 6th Street. But. <laughs> yep, and, uh, wow. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Well, that's quite the story, Paige. Wow. Well, peace out. I'm waving off to you. I'll go to the airport. That. See you later. Sorry about your bad decision. Good luck with your diamond that you can't find. Oh, man, that is rough. Uh, if you're just tuning in to the Rule and Show page, thanks for calling. If you're just tuning in to our show, we were playing audio from TikTok from a girl at the airport on Sunday. She misspoke in the video because she posted on her actual TikTok. Sorry, it was Saturday. It was Saturday. Then on Saturday, she was at a pool in Vegas, and she saw a bachelor party, and the groom was misbehaving. And she wanted to let the bride know, he cheated on you, and I have his Instagram, and you can reach out to me, and I can tell you what it is. And what we're trying to figure out is, why didn't she just reach out to the bride if she went through his Instagram? But maybe it's private. Maybe he has no pictures of the bride. Listen, that's another red flag. If you don't have any pictures of your fiancé or significant other on your Instagram... What are you hiding? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, I understand people aren't on it, but if you're on it, you're right. If you're active on Instagram and there's not one picture of your mate, so was your mate, I'd kind of be like, mm, what's going on there? Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah. The things that people have seen at bachelor and bachelorette parties. And yeah, that is, it is kind of interesting. You know, I was in Vegas a couple of weeks ago and I, you know, you kind of just like not look out for that, but it's obvious when there's big groups of guys or big groups of girls. And not always a bachelor or bachelorette, but I saw b- b- a couple of groups of dudes. M- more like just being pros, like at the casino. I didn't see anything crazy, but I was like, yeah, these guys are here to just like get drunk and spend some money. Mm. <laughs> MGM <laughs> Grand is notorious for those particular groups of people. It can be a bit much, I would say. So if you're going to Vegas and staying somewhere, good deals at the MGM Grand. Uh. But let me tell you about the clientele. Uh, <laughs> I remember looking- during... Tasso, it's about party. We went to the uh, Caesars, uh-huh. and it was it was we had a great time at the pool. But there was I forget Rio or some other place. Yeah, they got shut down the week before, because? Or, maybe that, or the day before, because they had drugs and prostitutes. Oh my gosh! Like working in the area, mm-hmm. so they had to like squash that. We're like, oh, wow. they were like, thank God we're not staying there. Isn't that legal there? <laughs> <All of a> sudden, <laughs> <laughs> looks at the news. Hey, is that, is that what you guys are staying? What, what are y'all doing? No! Um, okay. Uh, coming up next, what is going on with the world's obsession of this picture with Kate Middleton and her kids? Even if you barely watch the news, it's this has come across everywhere. your attention and you're like, wait, what is going on? I had to like, get the whole scoop from my friends yesterday because I was checked out this weekend. It was Mother's Day in, uh, in England. England. So that's and why. It's just... It- Ridiculous. We will break down the ridiculousness of it all next on the Rule and Ryan Show. Movies, music, TV, and all things Hollywood. Rula and Ryan Celebrity Scoop Woo! on KRBE. All right, let's put this to bed. Can we? I mean, I don't think we personally can because the rest of the world won't let this settle. But we're going to just go ahead and acknowledge it to settle it. What is going on with the world's obsession? Of this picture of Kate Middleton and her kids. For those that uh, maybe kind of saw it and you can't stop seeing glimpses of this, mm-hmm. it was Mother's Day in the UK. Kate Middleton, you know, a couple, has it been a week, a couple weeks already? It's been a month already? I don't know. Had Two some months. abdominal surgery oh. after the news that Charles has cancer. 
And then everyone over there, their world's going upside down because everyone's like, yay, William and Kate, William and Kate. I mean, it's terrible. They're like, yay, Charles waited his whole life oh, for Lizzie to kick the bucket. And he's been the king barely a, a year, barely a year. May will make a year since he got uh, cor- the coronation ha- happened. Wow. And, you know, he's been diagnosed with cancer. And they say it's going well. It's fine. Hey, well wishes for anyone battling cancer. But there's so much of a microscope on what's going on with the, the royal family over there. And then, you know, Kate and William and the whole rift between Harry and Meghan. And just there's lots for the press to run with. But she hasn't been around. They haven't seen her in public in eight Since weeks. Since the abdominal surgery. And now this picture got posted for Mother's Day in the U.K. And people got all crazy with it because you can Zoom. You know, if you, if I, I just look at the picture, like, in passing. Oh, okay, fine. Because we don't care. Kate kids. <laughs> yes. But people are, like, zooming in, like, what? Hold on. Look at Charlotte's clothes. They don't look right there. And, whoa, hold on. Look at the shadow. There's no shadow behind Louis. If he was really standing there, why is there a shadow? Wait, the tree behind them is blooming. And everywhere in London right now is dead because of the cold. What kind of a picture is this? Their hands. People have lost mm-hmm. their marbles over okay. this picture of Kate Middleton and her children saying, this is a fraud picture. What's really going on with Kate? Mm-hmm. Are y'all keeping her hostage behind the gates of the palace somewhere because something's wrong with her and you're not telling us? Like, um, Kevin, the theories have gone off the rails. So the and picture then, is fake. It was doctored. What, they well, put her in there? Or they? Well, that's what everyone's wondering like That's even Kate saying. Milton herself said well you know like all moms I had some fun with editing and I didn't do a very good job why would the palace even put that narrative out there Kevin you guys are the crown they yes. control everything yes. there is nothing is a mistake everything yes. comes from the institution and except for when they they have to like spin doctor it because something normal happened they're like oh god and to keep up appearances we <laughs> absolutely must <laughs> deny the entire yes. thing so for <laughs> Kate to put out the even people are are questioning the Kate statement is that even Kate saying that why why aren't they letting her speak where is she why can't they just show her in a balcony somewhere and know that she's like proof of life proof of life Kate proof you, of life you go down the rabbit hole on TikTok oh my gosh it's ridiculous there's people it's like wild. saying that. She was, I mean, these are just, uh, Eric, be careful, that, allegedly, allegedly so that crazy. she was with this other guy uh, that used to date her, her sister, Piper, mm-hmm. uh, what was his name, uh, Kingston, Thomas Kingston. Mm-hmm. Look at and you knowing the names. He mm-hmm. died, he died, uh, was last week, or so, he died recently, suicide. Oh, no. They say, but he was out with Prince William the day before. There's rumors that, oh, he was, Thomas and... Kate were having an affair, all this And crap. there's also rumors and, that William and some other chick had an affair and, and a baby. And they're saying she's pregnant, and that's what they're trying to say was the stomach. Uh, this is so crazy. So many things it's out there. You know crazy. how the, the median in England is. It's, they, it's well, the day, it's the day after the suicide, William was seen with bruises on his neck and hands. Opa. So oh, there's all kinds of yeah, what? drama going on you, over what? there. We have got yeah. like so much other Harry's stuff going on there, that we're not really paying attention, right? Mm-hmm. But now I wonder, like, probably Harry and Meghan are like... Man, that institution's failing them over there. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay over here in America. <laughs> so what was done to the photo and why they made Everything. Met? Like, it just doesn't... Saying, yeah. If you just look at the photo, Kev, like, ha- like, like an average passerby, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, okay, there's Kev. Kev, I have right. it up if you need to see it. I, I, okay, so, but did it need to be doctored? No, I mean, it's just a picture of her and her three kids, but people are saying, like, this is not... They're saying it's AI. Things don't make sense Photoshop. of what's in the picture. And the pic- there, there is um, an event they all went to months ago, and they were wearing similar clothes. But with, you know, Photoshop, you can just change the color of the clothes. I mean, they've, it's almost like blue dress, gold dress. Remember that one? Yes, yeah. but that's what you see. Right, but I mean, did. remember the frenzy over that? People could not stop talking about that blue yeah. dress, or the is it black and um, blue, or is it gold and white? Mm-hmm. People could not stop talking about it. That's the same frenzy over this picture. Here's what I don't understand. Like, oh, January 16th, come on. she had the uh, surgery. January 16th. Is that the date? Okay. And there's no photos of her since. She had a baby, and then, like, what, four hours later, they made her go outside? Right, stand up on the step and be like, here's our baby. You guys have babies. I'm wearing that giant diaper right now under this dress. Right? (laughs) You know, so they make you do that stuff, and all of a sudden, they're not making you something something squirrely. So I just wanted to leave that here to tell you, yes, it's acknowledged. I I don't, I'll just wait and see what happens. I'm not that, I'm still living off the high of Ryan Gosling's performance at the Oscars, which was everything. Here's was here's a girl, me, pointing to me, who said out loud on this show, I just don't even understand why they even need that. That song was boring in See, the movie. You, it's too long. She was against I it. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. And then when it was happening, I was like, oh, my God. I told you it was amazing. good. <laughs> it was better at the Oscars than in the movie, Eric. But it's just... 
So it made it funny. so awesome at the Oscars because he's real life Ryan Gosling around real life other celebrities in the audience, and Slash. he has to go Ken all about it. Slash comes out, does guitar. All the Kens were there. Yeah, the original he Kens. starts out behind Margot Robbie. Right. I mean, the whole thing was awesome. They switched seats awesome, for that too. Awesome, see, awesome. You see that because where Ryan, he was originally sitting. Yeah, they switched seats real quick. I just thought the whole Ken performance wins the Oscars. It should have won an Oscar in itself just for the performance. Not original song, but I mean, performances at, at, at award shows, the Academy Award goes to Ryan Gosling for Ken. I still think they're <laughs> missing Ken. the boat. If they want ratings, they should have to act up there. Grammys, they perform, they sing. And it's I true. To see oh Pacino. my God, can you imagine? Like, it's a wheel. Have you to recreate a scene you know from that brought, movie? They brought all like the Academy Award winners from yes, the past. that was awesome. Those five have to do a scene with the per- people nominated or something. For those that missed She's it, when Best Actor She's came out, acting. when they announced Best Actor, instead of just having the person who won last year present, they had like the l- past five notable years. big actors through the years. Like Nicolas Cage had won an Academy Award for Leaving Las Vegas. Uh, all these people came out to present the Best Actor. And then the same with the Best Actor, Sally Field. And um, just all, it's just, it was just awesome. I, I really think they did such a good job. But like many people, it was on Sunday at six o'clock. Eric texts me at 6.15. He's like, man, this is awesome. The Oscars are on so early. I'm like, oh my God, what are you talking about? I'm shopping still. Uh, I totally forgot it, that it's on an hour early. And then that. Jimmy Kimmel even acknowledges during the Oscars. We're getting a lot of feedback on social about people freaking out not realizing we started early and they want us to start all the way from the beginning again. Uh, so we're going to start all the way from the beginning again. We're an hour and a half in, but we're going to start from the beginning oh again. Um, you know, it was pretty it cool. Ar- Arnold Schwarzenegger came out with Danny DeVito and did a whole bit because they did a movie called Twins back in the day. Mm-hmm. And they both fought Batman and were beaten by Batman. Michael Keaton's the best. That was funny. But it wasn't the Batman. Michael Keaton Batman for Mr. Freeze. It was George Clooney. Yeah. I thought maybe George Clooney might be in there too. So they had Michael Keaton in the crowd making a sinister face. And he had the outfit on uh, that. Thing, Bruce Wayne. That, that thing underneath his shirt, kind of like uh, Ascot? Is that what that scarf thing is called? Uh, yes. Yeah, usually, but it, it was. Yeah, he, yeah that, that was the character he, in Batman. He had that. Right. So, outfit. you know, Mr. Freeze. I was Mr. Freeze, and he used my own powers against me. Heat? <laughs> his, no. No love. No. And then what happened with the penguin? His beak got broken or he something? He got thrown out a window. Oh, <laughs> I just love Danny DeVito. Is that what it was? Just Batman got Returns out. freaked me out too much. I did not enjoy that one at all. Danny DeVito as the Penguin gave me the creeps. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's when Michelle Pfeiffer played Catwoman. Michelle Pfeiffer was supposed to come out with Al Pacino for Godfather because it was the 50th anniversary of The Godfather. Um, and Why would she some, be out? something happened because she was in that. Michelle Pfeiffer? Wasn't she in that? No, she was in no, Scarface. No, I'm thinking of... of um, Diane Keaton. She was in Scarface. That's why she was going to come out. But he was in Godfather and Scarface. Yep. Sorry, I had the wrong movie. Diane Keaton was in Godfather. Michelle Pfeiffer was in Scarface. And they said that she was supposed to come out with him to present Best Picture. But something happened, family situation, and she couldn't make it. Sorry, I hit my mic. And then here's the other crazy thing. If you watch the Oscars, Al Pacino had to actually explain what happened there at the end. Because you know, everyone's waiting. Now that Emma Stone won for Best Actors, which was a total shocker. I thought the girl from Killers of the Flower Moon was going to win. I was kind of hoping she yeah, would. I thought she had. When Emma Stone won the last time for La La Land, that's when the whole debacle happened where Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway had the wrong envelope and said it was La La Land, not Moonlight, winning Best Picture. And then La La Land goes up there, and then the guy goes, it's not us, it's yeah, you guys. Awkward. Oh, so God. when Emma Stone won this year, Jimmy Kimmel came out and said, okay, let's make sure we totally get rid of that envelope. Yep. Let's make sure that that envelope gets... Totally thrown uh, right. away, and we have the right envelope for Best Picture. So Al Pacino comes out, and usually, what do they do, guys? They say, and the nominees are mm-hmm. the ten pictures, and then boom, here's the winner. But they had already done, as they've done in the last few years, they do like spotlights on every Best Picture, and because they did that, the producers were like, no, we're just going to go straight to the. the I thing. like it. Just get right into it. Al Pacino comes out and goes, well, you know, there's ten great nominees, and it's time for me to tell you which one is the winner. And then he opens it, and goes, ah, it says Oppenheimer here, and everyone's like, what is he? Is he losing his marbles? Did he mess this up? Yeah, it was so quick. He was didn't like, see what? the nominees. He just, boom, opens the envelope yeah. and just says, like, ah, it says Oppenheimer. Everyone's like, what? It was so anticlimactic. Mm-hmm. But he had to explain afterwards, hey, man, I was just doing what they told me to do. And the producer's like, well, we're really happy with uh, that. We were on t- we had already done the spotlights, and we just wanted to get right I to the like answer. It was the solid Oscars, but they did the in memoriam, and I was so mad, and I saw other people mad like me. They had Bocelli and his son, which they were beautiful singing. Singing, um, yeah. Although I kept thinking of Will Ferrell singing it. Um, <laughs> I went for both of those up party there. But, <laughs> but they, they, they do this shot from the backs to see the set while they're playing the people that passed away. Yeah. And they have dancers interpreted. Right, right, right. Ever dancing. And I'm like, what the hell is this? You can't see the people. You can't see Matthew Perry. It's so far away. It's like 
Give them their time. Oh, I thought it was just me because I was watching on my phone. No, they, they panned out so you could see these stupid dancers. Who cares about the dancers? Focus on the people that, that died. That died, that gave us so much entertainment through the years. Yeah, I was watching on my stupid. phone because after Eric called me and I was shopping and I was like, oh no, we had plans to go to Top Golf in KD. And when we got there, they were like, oh, there's like a mess up with your, like, you know, we had a 6.30 reservation and then I, I moved it to 7.30 and they said, oh, we don't have it. And I and I was like, I'm not going to be mad because I got to go home and watch the Oscars. It's fine. It's okay if you don't have it. I told uh, them. Yeah. It's okay if you don't have it. And the kids were like, yay, Top Golf. And here's me and Tasso. It's fine if you don't have it. Yeah, we, we're gonna go. We're gonna oh, we're gonna go. Home. It's work. Um, but in the end, Kyle, shout out to you, Kyle at Top Golf and Katie. He was like, "No, we got it. We have a bay for you. It's fine." And so I had an earbud in my ear and my phone on the table, watching the Oscars while we're trying to have family fun for <laughs> Top Golf. And that's why I thought the in memoriam. I was like, "Wow, was that Matthew Perry?" I couldn't tell that was Matthew Perry because yeah. because my phone is small. Uh-huh. But you're saying is because they focused more on the answer. And the you... ratings went up, by the way, like mm-hmm. a million people. Yeah, it was a uh, nineteen wow. and a half million people actually watched it live on Sunday. Did you try the Crazy Birds game at the Top Golf? Have you ever tried that instead <laughs> no, of playing the regular Top Golf? What's that? Yeah, Angry Birds. They have an yeah. Angry Birds game. My nine year old is here. Yeah. So, so basically, when you swing the club and you go into like the circles or yes. something like that, yes, um, there's the screen that shows yes. the Angry Birds tower, and the ball that you hit is the Angry Birds that launches into the building. Yes, you saw that and you smash them, and you Do get like seventy that? million no. points, and then no. you you know yeah. you're going head to head with other people That's in fun. your group. So it doesn't really matter actually if you get it into the proper hole. It's just as long as you go in that general direction, really? yeah. then you can it's knock down. Easier. Yeah, the electronics know yeah, where it went. Your kids uh, played that. It's so much, much fun. Wait, 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 <laughs> Matthew, Jimmy, we didn't play the Crazy Birds version. I never saw Crazy Birds on the screen. He must have. Other people playing. Oh, oh you did? Yeah, oh, should we go there today and try that? Yes. 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 Do we have time for that today, buddy? Yes. Do we? Yes. I guess. Yeah, just on the screen. Oh, here we come again. Select a different. <laughs> you select different games. You're like uh, weekends with Rula. Oh, yeah, I uh, What we have going on? Do I have meetings today? The meetings this afternoon. Oh right, we have those. Oh meetings. yeah. Yeah. Oh, always have meetings. Meetings equals busy. lunch for us, actually. That's what we call meetings. We got yeah, some... we need to go to Top Golf today. <laughs> <laughs> not far. It's not sponsored by Top Golf, but it should be. He's going to be a golfer. Go to Top Golf today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for those that missed it, it's spring break. My well son done. begged me to come to work so we could do Try It Tuesday. Try It Tuesday is right around the corner, but it's not for nine year olds. <laughs> It's yeah. Wild West Brew we, Fest. We'll, we'll get something for MJ to try. And she's like, Bobby, yeah. let's go to work. I want to go try Tuesday. We're trying beer because this is going to be how many beers? 600? Six, yeah, over six, 600 different brews on tap, plus food, plus wine, plus live music. It's going to be amazing. And it's going to be a three-day event kicking off Thursday. Sam's going to be there on Saturday. Not this Thursday. No, on the, the 23rd. 23rd. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's actually the 23rd is the day you're going to be there on Saturday. Mm-hmm. So it's the 21st. Yep. yep. Thursday the 21st, Katie Wild West Brew Fest. Isn't it like the biggest, they're going to tell us, the biggest display of beer in the whole nation? It just Yeah, it just got ranked, I think, number one. We're going to get all the details, and I guess we're going to try some? Yeah, yeah. hell oh, yeah. Woo. Do they have kid beer? Let's find out. <laughs> I'm going to have to go downstairs and buy some root beer. Uh, try it Tuesday next on the Rule and Ryan Show.